I think I'm gay. What do I do now? You're pretty sure you might be gay. You're still kind of questioning, but you don't know what to do with this new information. Sit tight. I got you. Let's do this. Hey everyone, my name is Lauren Eloise. Welcome back to my channel. 400,000 of you have watched my how to tell if you are lesbian video. I wanted to make a follow up video on that because a lot of you have gone, okay, cool. I realize now that I'm gay. What do I do? This video isn't going to be a how to tell if you're lesbian. This is going to be a what to do video. Before we get into today's video, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. I don't want you guys to miss out on any other gay videos like this in the future. Also, send this to someone you know who's coming to terms with their sexuality. It might really help them. So the number one thing you need to do is just to relax. Breathe, do it with me. Doesn't that feel so much better? <laughs> You're going to be going through a lot of feelings right now. You might be ashamed of finding out that you could be gay because society tells us that we should be. It's also scary. You don't know what other people are gonna think. You might also be really excited, but the number one thing to do is just to breathe through it. This leads really, really well in with the second one, which is don't rush yourself. There is absolutely no rush to figure yourself out and have a label that fits perfectly right now. You've got years to figure it out. In fact, it took me years to come to terms with my own sexuality. I started dating a girl before I even knew that I was gay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might not have the right label yet and that's okay. You've just started the process, so take all the time that you need. It's really important that you explore. Allow yourself to explore, allow yourself to experiment. Maybe that's watching gay TV shows, gay movies, watching TikToks, YouTubers, listening to gay music, <laughs> reading gay books. There's so much out there for you to explore and I really encourage that you do that. Exploring could also include using different pronouns, just trying some out, see how you feel, or trying different labels. For example, I came out as asexual before I came out as lesbian. Maybe it's wearing some clothes that you wouldn't usually wear. Don't be afraid to try different things. That's the whole point of this journey that you're just starting. It's all about exploring and learning about yourself. Whatever you do right now, just know that you're not stuck in your choices forever. When I used the word asexual, I wasn't bound to that for life. It can change as you learn more about yourself. I want you guys, and I'm serious, I want you to promise me that you will not hold back. Do not block it out because that only makes things worse. It takes longer for you to figure yourself out. It's so important that you allow yourself to experiment and explore. Number four is to stop comparing yourself to others. I know that I said earlier, like watch YouTubers and TikToks, but it's really important that you don't compare your own journey to theirs because everyone's journey is so so different. Your journey is not a carbon copy of someone else's. Your experience is your own. Please don't feel like you are too young to know who you are or too old to be exploring your sexuality. There are no limits. There are no rules. Some people know from a really young age that they're not straight or they're not cis. And some people know much later on. I was 19 when I came out. I know people who were 24 when they came out. I know people who questioned their sexuality when they were 13. We're all different and that's okay. I think number five is one of the most important things to do and it's to research the history of the community and also just educating yourself on the community in general. It might seem scary and overwhelming. I promise that it's not. Just dive in it slowly, remember. There is absolutely no need to rush. Maybe that's watching things or listening or having discussions with people. Find support groups to learn from different people. Maybe your school has a GSA you could join or maybe there's LGBTQ plus events in your area. Turn up to them. I know it's a little hard because COVID is a thing right now. So don't underestimate the power of the internet. The internet is an awesome place for resources. So many people, including me, <laughs> um, share our stories, figuring ourselves out. So YouTube is a great place to start. Just learn as much as you can about sexuality or gender. Become familiar with what the terms mean. Learn the difference between sexual attraction and romantic attraction if that's important to you. And remember that definitions change over time. I'm still learning myself and I'm almost 25. <laughs> Number six is to tell one person. I'm not saying 
hold yourself back from telling other people but telling one person that you trust maybe it's a teacher maybe it's your best friend maybe it's your cousin someone who's really close to you so you can vent to them and you can get their opinions on like what to do or you can celebrate with them <laughs> just telling one person can be so freeing it takes like a whole weight off your chest when you tell the first person it is amazing it leads nicely with number seven is come out to other people when you're safe to and when you feel comfortable and when you feel ready also remembering you don't have to know exactly all the details about how you feel because you're still learning about yourself people might have questions they might ask you things things that you don't know the answer to yet and that's okay just tell them I don't know yet I'm still learning there's so many different ways that you can come out so I think that needs to be a whole video itself but one of my favorite ways to come out is via a letter whether it's like your best friend or your parents you can write down all of your feelings give it to them and then they have time and space to process the letter it also means you don't have to confront them I am someone who would be terrified to confront someone about my feelings and have this fear of like messing up or forgetting to say something or if for example it turned into an argument you forget the things that you want to say because it's all emotional I think a letter allows you to just get everything onto the page and give people space to decide how they want to reply back. Number eight is a fun one, but buy something that you've always wanted to buy. Maybe you've always wanted to buy a rainbow flag. I think that's the first thing that I bought was a rainbow flag. Something that you were nervous to get or you thought you weren't cool enough or you couldn't pull it off or whatever. Doing that will help you feel part of the community and also help you feel seen. <laughs> and the ninth thing you can do is update your social media. If again, it's safe and you're comfortable, you could add a little pride flag in your bio or maybe you could make love hearts in your flags color maybe if you're trans you put the word non-binary or FTM or whatever in your bio maybe it's also changing your pronouns in your bio for the same reason you get the feeling of feeling part of the community and also you get to show people and like celebrate it it is truly a thing to celebrate <laughs> and the final thing to do is find LGBTQ plus people to follow who are inspiring and are on this kind of same journey or where you want to be. For example, I followed Rose and Rosie were probably the first couple that I ever saw that were two feminine girls together and I followed them ever since. These people usually can keep you up to date with what's going on in the community and also they have good suggestions for great music, great books, great films, etc. It'll help you feel connected and even just watching them exist sometimes is really validating. Everyone's experience is so different but also just know that you're not alone there are so many people who've been through similar things and I guarantee there's at least one person out there who's been through pretty much what you've been through so lean on the community my dms are always open on instagram I'm sure if you comment below someone will be able to help you out as well I have an awesome community <laughs> by the way I made a video with six other people talking about how they started the coming out conversation so if that is of interest to you please click this card on the screen. It'll take you to that video. Until the next video, stay safe, peace, love, and rock and roll. <laughs> See you guys.